Hey, what's up? David here with After Video Effects, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I decided to do an updated version for my matte shadow and reflection tutorial. Uh, two years ago, I did a tutorial on that, and uh, I thought I just may do an updated version for some of the things that I do now and some of the changes that I've been just doing. So yeah, uh, let's take a look at this first scene here. So we've got our video copilot's rooftop kit uh, just in this shot here and if we look at it let's break the scene down so I got a normal background image uh, if you guys want uh, this image I'll leave a link where you could download it and I had an adjustment layer uh, on top of it just to darken this sky here by using a levels effect because the sky is getting blown out too much when I add the color correction so yeah and then I added my usual element 3d camera and if we jump in here to scene setup okay so here we are in element and all you can see here is just this uh, rooftop air duct and I just added a plane let me just put this material on just to make it clearer I just added a plane and if we come down here to uh, the bottom here you can see a match shadow function and if we just turn that on it will make the object invisible but only show the shadows so that's what I did for this material and see you can see here it's just turned on the match shadow function it's right at the bottom where you can just click this advanced tool gear and then you just see match shadow here I'm using element 3d Element 3D version 2.2, .2, by the way, in case no one knows what version this is. And that's all it is. I even added a, a background of this rooftop so that it matches the lighting for my uh, background when I composite it. And I just turned up the lighting for this. So if we jump back in here, and as you can see, it's there in the shot I uh, just played around with the camera settings just to give it a nice camera look add in some lights so this is a parallel light and I place it on top so that the shadows can just be revealed just a little bit underneath and I added just an ambient light just to uh, make these smaller areas lit so if we look at the render settings for this we can see here Obviously, ambient occlusion is on, ray traced, shadow is on, and I lowered the shadow's intensity just a little bit, and that's all it is. So yeah, it's just a pretty simple scene here, but uh, effective as well. I just added some contrast and took away some red, added some blue, and tinted it at about 25%. And for this background texture, I also color corrected a little bit. So if we have a look at this, so you can see here, it's a little grainy. Well, that's I just added a fast blur just to soften it out a bit. A tint and some curves here. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward scene here. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to look at uh, matte reflections. Okay, so this is my matte reflection scene. So as you can see, uh, it's very uh, pretty simple scene again. Uh, let's break it down uh, again. Okay, first things first, I've got a black solid here. This makes it easier for the color correction. And then I got my element 3D layer. I positioned my camera. Uh, I got some lights here. I got a parallel light just pointing from this direction and just added some color correction. All right, so if we look into the scene setup, we can see here we've got uh, some layers here, so I'm just gonna break it down. All right, so first we've got a plain model. This is, I'm using the concrete material from Pro Shaders 2 uh, for Video Copilot. And then what I did was I played with the glossiness, which defines, uh, the reflectivity and I kind of crushed some of the black here a little bit and the white on this side and then uh, I turned up the reflectivity a hundred percent 
So right there. And then I definitely turned on, uh, what's this called? Mirror surface. Okay, so what this actually does is mirrors anything that's on top of this plane. So that's a really useful tip to know. So once I added my trophy, you can see here, this reflection is being reflected from this object. Now, speaking of this trophy, uh, this trophy reflectivity is set to spherical. So anything that's surrounding this uh, trophy is going to be reflected off of this uh, diffuse texture. So in this case, it is my environment map, which is the simple backlight. And then what I did was I added some backlights from Video Copilot's backlight package. So I added some of these in. And then you can see here they're being reflected off this plane. And I added some more lights like that. So pretty simple setup. And what I did was added some contrast and added some glows just to make it pop out a little bit. And if we go into the render settings here, I played around with the rotation environment so that it wouldn't be blown out too quickly. And I turned off AO, I turned off AO because this, it kind of makes this bottom area a little bit dark. So if I show you what it does, you can see here it kind of darkens it and we don't get that nice reflectivity that we wanted initially. So yeah, that's why I just turned it off. And the reflectivity on the multi-pass mixer, I cranked that up to five so that we get nice reflectivity. And I doubled the shadows a bit, just to give it some shadows, obviously. And then I added a curves adjustment here just to give it a contrast and make those highlights pop out. And then what I did, this is a new effect that I don't use frequently. I added this shadow highlight effect. And what this does allows this plane and my trophy object. And what it does, it makes my reflections pop out a little bit on my plane and my trophy object. So that's a really cool effect. And I added my usual tint on top. And for my curves adjustment, I just added a large contrast. I didn't want to darken too much because it will get rid of these reflectivity um, highlights. Took away some red, added some blue, and yeah. And then finally on top, I added this glow just to make it pop out. Okay, so that's matte reflections, or in this case, reflections. If you wanted to turn on matte reflection underneath the matte shadow function, it will just, it functions the same properties as a matte shadow, but instead of a shadow, it's just reflections. So in case you guys just wanted to have a quick insight on what that does. Okay, so let's look at how we can composite both reflections and shadows in a scene. Okay, so here I've got another scene here where I'm using all these hinges from Video Copilot's uh, motion design two pack and I positioned them just like parallel and then I added some reflections and definitely some AO here and this texture plane as well. So let's look at this scene first. So all it is really is the six hinges. So I'm using these hinges specifically and this plane texture is actually just a brick texture that I just diffused it as black. So if I wanted to make a white, it will be white, but if I wanted to make red, it will be red. But I made it black. And if we go into the reflective mode, I turn it to mirror surface like we did with our trophy scene. And that's pretty much it. Uh, for the environment, I used this uh, backlight 2K number 33 environment. So yeah, let's jump back into the scene here. And let's have a look at these settings. So I definitely turned on shadows. So if you can't really see it, the shadows are like really subtle. 
but I'll just turn it off so you can have a look at it. So there's the difference here. And I turned on AO, ray traced, and that gives it for the shadows for these objects. And I also even turned on doubled, sorry, I even doubled the shadows uh, and I turned up the reflectivity a little bit like that. Uh, I turned on my physical environment just so that you can see. So just so that I can have a little bit of a background here, but most likely I'm just going to zoom in here and just like let the plain texture cover the scene here. I added some lights, so a parallel light pointing from down this direction, and this is an ambient light, which is about 20%, and I think that's roughly the same value for all my other scenes. And I add some color correction, which I shall turn on, like that. Okay, so this looks here is kind of too strong, so I may drop that down to maybe like 50% here. If you're wondering what uh, preset I used, I used the, I think it was either Classic Blockbuster or Chrono Steel. I couldn't remember which one it uh, was, but uh, it was one of those two. So yeah. So that's it everyone. And these are some of the things that I like to do when it comes to shadows and reflections. I'm sure everyone has their own different methods for how they do their own shadows and reflections. And as always, guys, my name's David. I hope you learned interesting techniques that you can use for your own creations. Please give a like if you like this video so that people can find it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And be sure to hit that bell button to get the notifications. And comment down below if you have any questions. And I will see you in the next video.